give it a few minutes to uh, let people get in and join and settled. Okay, we're at 13.31. So good afternoon. Thank you for joining us today on today's webinar. Today, I'm excited to tell you we have some really interesting and useful information for you in the fight against bed bugs. And I'm sure you will have seen the recent bed bug coverage in the news. It's been pretty extensive. And um, we had segments on Sky News and Good Morning Britain. Hopefully you saw us and our teams um, out on the road um, treating bed bugs. Um, so today we're joined by our colleagues from Spotter, Rob Olner and Dr. Victor Kang, who will explain how Spotter works and they'll also be available to answer questions. Our key account manager, Aaron Letchford, he's here to explain the complete peace of mind service that Beaver and Spotter can offer together. So at the end of the session, we will have a 10 minute Q&A session. So please submit your questions via the Q&A chat function at the bottom of the screen. You can submit your questions throughout the speaker sessions and we will go through and pick them up at the end of the webinar in the Q&A uh, session. So before we start, here's a little bit of background about Beaver. We've gained our experience with bed bugs over the last 30 years and we work with several high profile hotels in central London. There are a number of ways to control bed bugs, heat, insecticides, uh, diet measures earth. Um, but actually we believe that identifying bed bugs at the very start of the infestation is the most effective way to control infestations. And it's the most cost effective way. And that's why we were so excited to see the new development in proactive bed bug monitoring by Spotter. Uh, Beaver have 50 professionally trained technicians working in and around London and the home counties on a daily basis. We can also offer a nationwide service. And, you know, guests are so much more aware of bed bug infestations these days. So it's especially important to have a cost effective way of monitoring, proactive monitoring for bed bugs. And then when incidents do happen, you've got trained and experienced technicians to deal with the outbreak quickly. So now I'm going to hand you over to Dr. Victor Kang, who is the entomologist for Spotter. Victor, over to you. Thank you very much. Let me just share my screen. And I'll actually hand over to Rob just to kick us off. Fantastic. Well, I'll do a very brief intro. So we are Spotter. Um, so Spotter, we're a technology company based in the UK focused on making insect detection uh, systems so that we can prevent insect infestations before they occur. Um, so that's where we are. Um, so um, I'm Rob, I'm our head of urban pests. Um, my colleague, Victor, who is our lead scientist, will be talking to you about um, some, of the, some of the biology about bed bugs and how infestations start and really the importance of monitoring where it comes in. Um, then we'll talk a little bit about how bed bugs impact a business um, and how they, they can hurt guests. And finally, how Spotter can help uh, manage and protect your guests and protect your reputation. Off, over to you, Victor. Thank you, Rob. All right, I'm excited to talk to you a bit about uh, bed bugs. Um, so I'm sure you're all aware of it, but here's a really zoomed up image of a bed bug that's happily feeding on a probably a human skin, um, releasing some fecal droplet. So what are bed bugs? I mean, bed bugs are blood sucking insects. Um, they're very specialized at doing that. And they've actually been around for a really long time. Uh, we estimate roughly around 100 million years. So they've been around with dinosaurs and they've had plenty of time then to uh, adapt and to become very good um, at some of the behavioral aspects for uh, blood feeding. One of that is being really good at hide and seek. So this image um, I got from TripAdvisor, uh, from someone who took an image of a mattress and kind of hidden in that scene there is a bed bug. So I'm gonna talk a bit about the bed bug life cycle and also the behavior today. So I'm just gonna start you off with this uh, image here, lovely image of bed bugs. Um, uh, it's showing the, the life cycle of it. So on the very left, You've got this white little grain of rice size. So it's one millimeter. 
And that's that's the egg. Um, and in five steps, it goes in from the first uh, nymph or instar to the fifth one. And then in the final, you get the adults, which is the about five millimeter long insects on the far right. Um, now, the thing about that box is that uh, they're pretty quick to develop. Um, they go from egg all the way to adult in about a month. Um, and that's, that's really rapid. Um, and as, as uh, both nymphs and adults, they're quite resilient. So they can go for extended periods of time without feeding, about three to 12 months uh, without a blood meal. Um, they're also long lived as insects. So you might be a bit surprised that the adults can live up for over a year in, uh, in ideal conditions. And the females have um, high fecundity. So they are really good at reproducing. The one female can lay up to five eggs per day. Um, and that amounts to about 200 to 500 eggs in this life. So that's a bit about their life cycle. And let's talk about how infections can start. Um, now we all love traveling and obviously after COVID, um, things are picking back up and we can fly around, cruise around and take away our, take our luggage with us. Um, and as you saw kind of before, bed bugs are really good at hiding and they're also really good at hitchhiking. So you might be, or we might just unwittingly carry them around the world. Um, and also, I don't know, Hopefully for some members of the audience um, might be looking for some good used furniture or used goods uh, like sofas and chairs. And again, in those in between nooks and crannies, they can be hiding there. And finally, um, bed bugs are cryptic. So not only are they good at hiding, but they also generally come out at night to feed. Uh, but um, it doesn't mean it's always at night time and they're really adaptable. So they will come out to feed. Um, kind of in response to the host behavior. Now, once you've got a bed bug in, and I mean, it's especially worrying if you have a mated female in, and don't forget that one mated female can lay hundreds of eggs. Um, so that alone can start an infestation. Um, once you've got one in, um, the thing is not everyone also reacts to bites. So it means that they can go unnoticed for a while. And so what we kind of show here is that the population can double every 16 days and you get something called an exponential growth. Um, and you can kind of see why it gets quickly out of control. And so this really comes around to why is, uh, why is monitoring important? And it's important because constant monitoring allows for early teaching. It lets you kind of get in on this green phase where there's maybe one or a couple, a nascent colony um, before they start to grow and grow and then exponentially take off. Um, so once you get in there early, it means you get fewer rooms uh, that are impacted. It's, again, easier to manage and treat a nascent colony. Um, you get shorter treatment durations and also the treatment costs because it scales the population. Um, it's better for you if you get it there early. Uh, so I'm going to pass over to Rob now. Absolutely. Thank you, Victor. Uh, so... We all know about sort of the, the obvious costs of bed bugs. So by that, I mean the treatment costs of having to take rooms out, compensating guests, uh, the management time that it takes out, the burden it puts on staff. But especially with bed bugs being all over the news at the moment, the top two costs on this diagram are becoming more and more important. Uh, more and more guests are being discerning about where they're staying based on bed bug reports, which means that every negative review is ever more damaging. And 75% of customers that find bed bugs will never return to that brand of hotel. So this is a real big impact on people. And therefore, the potential reputational damage, the potential loss of revenue from bed bugs goes far beyond just the cost of treating the problem. Um, but it really goes to demand and to room rates and all these things play a big factor in it as well. Um, so we can go to the next slide. So how does Spotter help the problem then? Well, we are the only 24 seven bed bug monitoring solution. Um, we exploit bed bug biology to attract in the bed bugs using a natural pheromone that the bed bugs themselves produce. Uh, once we've attracted the bed bugs into our device, uh, we then automatically photograph them. We use a combination of AI classification along with our expert entomologists to verify that we've caught a bed bug. We then automatically trigger um, 
an inspection and a treatment and a treatment by our colleagues at Beaver. Um, so we really provide that sort of that all inclusive peace of mind service that you don't need to worry about this because you know that your property is being monitored 24 seven. Next slide, please. So yeah, uh, what we do, we fit a device, one of these in every single room. Uh, it's a simple setup, takes 30 seconds per bed. It self configures itself. So there's no fiddling and there's no IT required. Uh, it's always on. It runs for six months without needing any servicing. Every six months, the pheromone cartridge gets changed. It takes 10 seconds. Uh, it's automatic. Uh, so there's no need for anybody to visit the site during that period to manage the devices. It all happens remotely. And if we do detect a bed bug, uh, we will send an email alert with the room number and the picture of the bug to the team at Beaver so they can come and deal with the problem promptly and um, adequately. Next slide. So what's the evidence for it? So Spotter takes a scientific evidence-based approach. You've met Victor, our lead scientist. He's got a team working from him who make sure that our products are working up to, up to snuff. Um, and what this means is that we can catch bed bugs earlier and more reliably than any other method. Uh, in studies we've done in hotels, we've found that 95% of the time Spotter can detect bed bugs before either a hotel guest or a member of staff. Um, in total now across the world, we protect, we've prevented 362 bed bug infestations and over 900,000 guest nights. And finally, so here is, um, you don't have to take my word for it. Here's the word of one of our customers, Max. He owns a hotel who uses our system in Paris. And he really didn't believe that this was going to work when we first installed it. Um, but that opinion changed within weeks. Um, the system, he found it really smooth and easy to install. Um, and I think the biggest highlight here, he trusts Spotter to protect their guests and reputation. Um, that they get early warning of any new arrivals that come in, which is a real peace of mind. And that's one of the things our customers tell us is very important to them. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much. And I think in that case, then I'll be handing over to Aaron to talk to you a little bit about uh, what Beaver can offer. Oh, yeah. Thanks a lot, Rob. I appreciate that. Let me just share my screen. <clears throat> okay, so hopefully you can all see this. So my name is Aaron Letchford. I am the uh, key accounts uh, manager for Beaver Pest Control. Um, so what I want to talk to you about is a little bit about um, what happens uh, with the process of, of installing Spotter, how that would affect um, treatments and, and planning for your site uh, and what you would do. So we're trying to look at an all-encompassing program. So this is an integrated approach to pest management. What we would be looking at doing, installing the spotter system for monitoring and alerts. You would get notification of an issue to reduce the risk of spreading. We also offer, as part of this, a staff education. So we do something called pest awareness. Um, we're one of the only companies that are, are currently out there offering it. And we've we've had some great success uh, with offering it to some of our clients. Obviously, like Julia said, we have client uh, qualified technicians. All of our technicians are trained on, on different types of treatments um, so that we can ensure we get the best results and tried and tested treatment programs. Lots of different treatments out there that are available on the market. Um, and, and these are something we will touch on as we go through the slides. So <clears throat> you're running your hotel, uh, you have a good pest control company in place, um, they are looking after you, uh, what would you be looking at doing? So obviously, like we said earlier, pest awareness training, so that would be something um, that we can come to sites and deliver, um, not just bed bugs, but a, a wider scope of, of issues. Um, but you can also do it as part of a Teams meeting, so we've been doing hour-long sessions um, to help give your staff an understanding of what to look for when there's an issue with bed bugs, how to spot them quickly, um, uh, you know, and, and raise any alerts. This obviously will enhance the staff vigilance. So what we found by doing some of these trainings, people are actually going away and, and we're getting a little bit of an increase in calls from, from the site where we're actually finding staff are finding them. 
You'd also have installed spotter, regular inspections as part of pest control and a treatment program in place. So once you've got all that in place, you know, you're thinking of as a hotel, this is going to cost a fortune. How are we going to manage this? You know, look at how the average price of an affordable hotel in central London, £110 a night. Um, the, the, the program itself is not, not expensive in comparison to this. You know, this £110 a night is £770 a week. What will bed bugs in the news and heightened client awareness have done to you as a business over the last couple of weeks? Obviously, like Rob and Julia had said previously, um, there has been far more uh, news uh, on bed bugs in the last month. But what we're also finding is, is a definite increase in people uh, on social, um, uh, on client awareness, obviously social media, they're reporting it. Um, obviously people probably would have seen you know, bed bugs on buses, trains, you know, planes, all of this. People are much more um, quick to report this online. Obviously TripAdvisor was something that was, was going on for, for a few years. People were reporting that online and obviously what is that damage to your business on, on that side of it? So how do we do that? So what's probably happening in most hotels, um, they're having their staff carry out their inspections. Um, so if they've not had any training or not sure what to look for, there's probably an increased likelihood that bed bugs could be missed. Um, the staff obviously then have to spend more time uh, doing spot checks um you've probably at some point in the past tried to uh, treat in-house um this will probably end up not being successful and is why you've looked at a pest control company so with all of that in there so obviously there's been an increased risk cost to your business and obviously a higher risk on online complaints such as trip advisor or social media platforms so you've had your staff uh going in, they're doing their spot checks, probably what they're doing uh, is, is most standard treatments or sp standard inspections, your staff are going in, they're probably doing a check around the headboard, around the mattress for any spotting, they're checking the seams of the mattress, grab handle sheets, screw holes, you know, damage under the frame. Um, doing these inspections, obviously, they'll probably check around the picture frame, around the clock, lamps, you name it. They're probably doing that. So think of, you know, if you've got 10 rooms that you think have probably got an issue, how long each room is probably taking your staff member to do whilst doing their other jobs. So they're, they're taking the sheets off, um, you know, doing their housekeeping side of it. And, and you're not guaranteed at the end of that that they're actually going to find anything or that they would have missed something as well. So recommended monitoring treatments. So how would all of this that we've just talked about how do we bundle this up for you is, is you know spotter installation of spotter we do education of staff with pest awareness to help um, they remain vigilant for bed bug activity spotter alerts when bed bugs are detected so obviously robert said to you before you'll see on the, on their picture of the bed bug that comes to us um we would then our technician would then attend um, and, and carry out visual inspection on site just to check everything over before doing a treatment. So there'd be a treatment program we would put in place with you, which we would discuss before anything happens. So whether that be insecticides, heat, uh, regular inspections of the rooms, or, or, or just a monitoring uh, in place. So you've got all of this information, the technicians come to you and said, we found 100% there's bed bugs there, you know, what's your next course of action? So yeah, obviously you can continue the monitoring, hopefully it goes away, probably won't. Uh, inspections, you'd have detection dogs. If you're larger hotels, is it something you wanna look at as well? There's the option for detection dogs. Um, insecticide sprays, fogging, heat, steam and dust. So you know, we're looking at when we do the actual treatment for bed bugs, you'd looking at insecticide sprays, heat and steam and dusting as being definitely the way you'd want to go. But how would that impact your business? You know, what's the difference between heat and, and, and spraying? So spraying, obviously, we would need to do multiple treatments. So if you've ever read up anything on bed bugs, obviously we're doing the gestation period, 
spraying uh, a water-based insecticide. Unfortunately, the eggs are completely waterproof themselves. Um, so none of the insecticide will penetrate that egg itself. So hence what we have to do is do multiple treatments over a period of a couple of weeks to catch that gestation. Um, it tends to be a lower cost to treat um, and we can get to site usually very quickly to start treatment. Heat treatments themselves, um, how that works is we basically uh, install heaters to the room and we basically heat the temperature up to 56 degrees. Um, the treatment itself kills all life stages. So what we said about spraying, you know, we're only going to kill nymphs and adults. We're not going to kill the eggs because it's waterproof. With heat, definitely we'll get into the, the egg, nymph and adult stages and, and kill them. Um, once the treatment's complete, we can turn the room around. So as soon as we, the room cools down, that room is ready to go. Spray treatments. Once we've done the spray, you, you need to leave about four hours after treatment. Generally for heat treatment as well, one treatment is needed. So we would come in, do the treatment. We would probably follow up again two weeks time just to do a, uh, an a inspection, just to make sure everything's okay. Whereas spraying, you're gonna need that multiple treatments. Now the, the, the pros and cons, obviously heat is gonna be a little bit more expensive um, per room to treat, whereas obviously sprays will be a, a lower price point. So there you go. Uh, I'll leave the contact us up whilst Julia um, jumps back in um, and uh, hope you enjoy it. Right. Thanks so much, uh, Victor, Rob and Aaron. That was really informative. And I have got some questions. So I'll go from the start. So um, question number one is to Spotter. Uh, do the pods need to be plugged in and does it affect my Wi-Fi? Absolutely. OK, so. Here is the spotter pod itself. These pods run for six months at a time on an AA battery. So this little cartridge here contains both the, oh, where's my face? There we go. Contains both the battery and the lure and run. So it doesn't need to be plugged into the wall. It's just every six months you replace one of these. And all you do to do that is just snap it into place on the device and you're good to go. Uh, so yeah, no, nothing plugged into the wall. The only thing that gets plugged in is once per hotel, we supply a base station, which handles the communications back to our servers. What that means is that it doesn't have to touch a Wi-Fi at all. It's completely self-enclosed and that can go pretty much anywhere in the, in the hotel. Most customers will put it in an IT cupboard or a linen cupboard and all it requires is a plug socket. That's great, Rob. Thanks. So just to clarify, there's no Wi-Fi required. Brilliant. No, Thank I, you. No. Okay. And I've got another question for Spotter. Can the customers smell the lure? No, so we've now had approximately half a million customers have stayed in Spotter rooms. Nobody has ever found a Spotter pod. Nobody has ever smelled a Spotter pod. The lure is it's designed to be very attractive to bed bugs. Um, because of the way pheromones work, that means that the smell is at a level where a human being can't detect it, but at the same time, it smells absolutely uh, very appealing to bed bugs. Brilliant. Thanks, Rob. Um, OK, I've got a question for Aaron. What does the pest awareness training entail? Um, OK, so pest awareness training is uh, we, we can do a small one hour sessions. So it'd be either, like I said, in-house or a Teams meeting um, where we basically come to site and we do a, a small presentation. It's, it's quite a casual laid back approach. People can ask questions all the way through, but we we really sort of dive into uh, giving as much information on what to look for, um, you know, the breeding habits of pests, um, yeah, the life cycles, all of that, which obviously all contributes to having uh, staff being vigilant. Obviously, we can go to to some of the rooms. We do a you know a, a in person check of a room just to give people an idea of what to look for and how to look for it. But like I said. It's not just about bedbugs, there's, there's multiple different pests, but we'll see, we really want to give people as much knowledge as we can um, so that they can understand um, how, how best to resolve any problems or, or you know, what to look for. Thank you, Aaron. Um, okay, the next question. Do I need to tell our guests we have the pods installed? I think that's probably a spotter question. Absolutely. So the spotter pod is self-contained. So whilst it does contain a camera, it doesn't contain any microphones or anything like that. 
Um, and a guest, it's physically impossible unless a guest takes the part, the part of them to take a picture of themselves. So from a privacy perspective and from a data protection perspective, there's no need to tell guests. Uh, some of our hotels choose to use this as a technology that works in the background. Other hotels choose to have some material that they can use to reassure guests that they are doing things to protect them. But that's a decision that can be left up to the individual hotel. Brilliant. Thank you. And a uh, final question, burning question. This is for you, Aaron. How much does it cost? So for, for Spotter, uh, the cost itself or the pest, pest awareness? So uh, I'm assuming it's for Spotter, I would imagine. Okay. So um, you're looking at it's about 21p per bed per night for, for installation of Spotter. So what we do is um, if you were interested in finding out more about um, how we uh, would put a treatment program together for you, including Spotter, we'd send along one of our surveyors. They carry out a survey. Obviously, that's that's free of charge. Um, the cost of the installation for Spotter, as Aaron said, is, is from 21 pence per bed per night. That includes the installation and the change of the cartridge on a six monthly basis. Um, depends on the contract length, um, but that's a, a, a ballpark figure. And then uh, depending on the size of your hotel, um, then we can give you the costs for uh, pest awareness training and for the actual treatment of the rooms. One thing I did want to say is traditionally with pest control, when there is a um, bed bug infestation, we don't only treat the the room which has been identified to physically have bed bugs but we normally treat left right top and bottom so that's five rooms really to, to for it to be um safe from uh, the infestation moving out of those rooms however with spotter it's likely that we would probably treat the actual room identified because if the other rooms had bed bugs obviously the the, the spotter pod would notify us so the, the whole cycle using Spotter proactively is, is cost effective from start to finish. You're not affecting all of the other uh, rooms surrounding the affected room, but you're you're dealing with the, the issues. Did you um did you want to add anything to that, Rob? No, I think you, you've absolutely nailed that. So as we say, the big thing here is that. The treatment costs absolutely scale with how long um, the bed bugs have to get to get sort of um, ingrained in. Uh, they're very good hiders; they move very quickly between rooms. Uh, so you know, we've got a great proactive team here at Beaver, so that when we do see issues, we'll be able to get in and deal with them promptly. And that will mean that it will it will it will make it much easier to get rid of to eradicate that infestation, much more cost effective as well, and much less disruption for the hotel. Fantastic. Thank you. Well, that 30 minutes went really quickly. So um, I hope you've all enjoyed our session this afternoon. I hope it's been informative. Um, the contact details are on the screen at the moment. You can always contact us at Beaver Pest Control um, on 0208 3. Just speak to anybody in the office and they'll be happy to help you. So thank you very much for joining. We have recorded this, so you will be able to watch back to it and we'll, we'll send the uh, webinar out. And thank you to my guests today. Thank you for having us. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.